Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. And it's Sunday, March 23rd. And it's the last day of the Create a Friend uh, blog hop. For this last project, I'm going to be doing uh, what I'm going to be calling a picture. It's, it's not a scrapbook layout um, or anything like that. I'm, I'm going to actually put this all together and hang it on my uh, door of my uh, scrap room. So I'm going to start out, by the way, when I was all done with these cuts that I'm doing, my Cricut was smoking because it's a lot of cuts, a lot of fun colors too. So now this is um, from packaging that came, I had ordered like a um, scrapbook and daily deals or something and then they put it in a, a plastic clear envelope and this was part of it. So I'm going to start this as my base and I'm going to move my little girl here so I can show you the rest of what's going on. And then I'm going to be using two different kinds of paper and I'm going to cut them both at um, six inches. So let's do that now. So I'm going to have the top as the rainbows and the bottom as the little uh, green wavy things. And um, this is Recollections rainbow paper. But the other I had in my stash, so I don't know what the name brand is. Um, you know, it's like one of those loose type papers that you buy, but it just happened to, the colors matched up perfectly, so. All right. So I'm going to put this, grab my Tombow, down at the bottom. I do these every so often. I have a couple of them that I did for Halloween and um, you know, I hang them either on my front door or you know, just in my scrap room. It's kind of fun. My neighbors would think, what is that crazy crafty woman doing again? So I've got something hanging on my front door. All right, and so the rainbows, that's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna go up here. And I'm gonna try to, um, match it up, like line it up the, as tightly as I can. Some of the stuff I, well the lettering I actually cut out and put together before I started the video because it's kind of time consuming. Okay, so that's that. Oh gosh, let's put our little girl together first. Now this is from Create a Friend and she's on page 56. Here she is. And let's talk about the pieces. I did her, her body. I did her shadow. I did her hair. Um, I also did a layer of this and then I went over here and I did this and I cut out five of these and I'm not using the raindrops or the day. Um, and I think I cut out this and this. So let's see what we got going here. Now, um, this to me, this this uh, cartridge has, I don't know, I just call it shadow layers because it kind of sits behind things. And that's what this is here. And everything's cut out at six inches. So let's put her shadow layer down first. And I just started going through my scraps and finding all kinds of great paper. Now, the reason why I used the white this time was because I really wanted it to show up on this, um, I'm gonna call it picture throughout the video so you know what I'm talking about. And then this is her her skin. I'm gonna to wanna to put her hair behind it. So let's put some glue there. Actually, I should have put, let's put her, hmm, because I'm gonna do that. Okay, I gotta start, try to take this off and put her hair behind the shadow. I can't really even see that shadow, but you can you need it for the eyes and the mouth, which I was thinking about putting a little piece of pink sparkly paper behind her mouth.
Am I on camera? Yeah, I'm on camera. Okay. That's going to go like that. And then she has another piece of hair here that goes on the top. And that's going to go right here. All right. Now let's get her clothes on. Um, I cut, well, let me get this here. That's her hair right there. I put that right there. Then I cut this. It's like a, a real light teal. And that's that right there. Okay. I may have to shut down in the middle of this because I just noticed my battery is going dead. But I can edit it so it's not a problem. So I put her body, right? I mean her little undergarment, I'm going to call it right there. And then I'm going to put her jacket on. And like I said, these are all just going through my scraps, using them up. Now some of these things, I have to admit, I fussy cut it because I wanted to use up scraps and they weren't big enough to actually put into the Cricut. Um, so I kind of just, um, you know, traced around some things. And this is her little umbrella. Don't want that to cover her hand. Okay. Oh, come on, battery. Stay with me. And get some glow on that. And I love how this has a contrast um, against the black. Pretty pretty. And then, um, like I said, I fussy cut this because I wanted that piece right there. And that's going to go on her hat right there. It's a little bit off. You can tell I cut that myself. And then her little flowered boots that match her umbrella and the part of her little hat. And then her little pockets. I wanted her pockets to do the same thing. I think that one goes there. And then that one goes there. Oops, not enough glue. Great. Oh, look at her, how cute. And then I went to create a critter and I found this little cute little duck. Now I cut the pieces, but then um, I think I cut out too many. So for this, I'm gonna go with what works for me. And that's an extra piece, we don't want that. And there's the little umbrella for this guy. I keep looking at the battery. Hang in there, battery. And then I just found this cute little polka dot paper here. So that's gonna be that. And then there's some little tiny pieces. These are his legs. cut up boots for him so I don't really concerned too much about his legs. I'm just going to flip over like this. And here's his little beak. His little quack quack. And then um, I cut out his little boots uh, in that same paper as her umbrella. Little tiny pieces. And he's cut out at uh, two and a half inches. So, or she? Is it a she duck or a he duck? All right, put that aside. Some extra little boots I cut out there. Okay, so that's where we're going with this. All right, battery, hang in there. All right, so I'm going to put up here April. Showers bring May flowers. Yes. 
reaching across here. H O W E. Now this I got from um, Designer's Calendar Cricut cartridge. It's cut out at one and a half inches. April showers. Bring. May flowers. I'm picking up all these little pieces here. All right, where's my F? There it is. F, an E, there's an O, W, L. Whoops. Now, if I run out of battery, what I'll do is I'll put all this together and then I can, um, alrighty, so then, then I'll post it on the blog so you can picture. So I'm just going to, like, randomly scatter these little flowers that I cut out. This is a little punch from Fiskars. You can see that? Da -da -da. So I'm just kind of scattering these flowers around here and there. And then I also have these cute little clouds I'm going to put on here kind of enhances the clouds on the rainbows. I may not use all of them, but anyway, so I think my battery is going to die on me. I should have checked before I started the video. This is how it's going to look, and I will put it all together for you. My little duck right here. He's going to be holding his umbrella too. Alrighty, that's my project, my final one. I've had so much fun with this cartridge. Um, thanks all so much for joining the blog hop and um, leave a comment. I'd love to hear um, your comments. Have a great day.